Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd make a quick video on how to use a kilowatt. Now, a kilowatt is a meter that will show you wattage draw and particularly wattage draw over time. I know that there is a, a lot of buttons here on the front, but the only one that really matters is this here on the end, kilowatt hours. It will show you how much an appliance draws over a period of time. Here's a little baby space heater. And if I plug it in and I turn it on, you can see it's drawing 11, 1300 watts, 1400 watts. Let me turn it down. There you go. So on low, we're pulling about 900 watts, which is a whole lot. But if I put it on kilowatt hours and let it run overnight, it will show me how much the unit draws over that time period. The reason why that's important is because most devices cycle up and down, particularly heating appliances. They don't run continuously unless it's really, really, really cold. So you'll see it kick on and off and on and off and on and off. Your refrigerator is a great example of this. Your refrigerator doesn't run continuously. It'll go up and down, up and down as needed. Where this comes into play, where this number here comes into play, is if you're going to buy a solar generator or an EcoFlow or a Jackery, this number over here, what you get from this over an 8 or 12 hour period, tells you how big of a unit you need. For example, my electric blanket only draws around 400 watt hours over an 8 hour period. So if I had a 500 watt Jackery, it would run my electric blanket for about one 8 hour period. I hope this was helpful, and this is a great item to have. Um, it's much better than the knockoffs. They're only about $30, so buy one of these. Look at the kilowatt hours and the instantaneous wattage draw. But this number over here is like a car odometer. This is the most important thing. So plug in your device, hit this button, let it run for eight hours, and see what you get. Thanks, everybody.